Welcome back to the video course on microelectronic circuits. In this lecture, we will present the current voltage characteristics of a n-channel enhancement type MOSFET. These characteristics can be measured at DC or low frequencies and hence these characteristics are labeled as static characteristics. Prior to the discussion on the static characteristics, we will look into the circuit symbols of n-channel enhancement type MOSFET. In all these symbols, the spacing between the two vertical lines that represents the gate and the channel indicates the fact that gate electrode is insulated from the body of the device. The polarity of the p-type substrate or body and the n-channel is indicated by the arrowhead on the line representing the body. This arrowhead also indicates the polarity of the transistor namely an n-channel divide. Figure B shows the modified circuit symbol with an arrowhead placed on the source terminal. The arrowhead on the source terminal is mainly used to distinguish source terminal from the drain terminal. The arrowhead points in the normal direction of the current flow and thus indicates the polarity of the n-channel device. In this modified symbol of figure B, there is no need to show the arrowhead on the uh, body line. In addition, the arrowhead also indicates the polarity of the voltage that needs to be applied across the device. For an n-channel MOSFET, the voltage applied to the drain is always positive with respect to the source. For most of the application, the source terminal is connected to the body of the device. Therefore, it is possible to simplify the circuit symbol further and the same is shown in figure C. This type of circuit symbol is preferred when the effect of the body and the operation of the circuit is not significant. The next topic of interest is the drain current and drain to source voltage characteristics. The conceptual circuit shown in figure is used to measure the drain current and drain to source voltage characteristics of the NMOS transistor. The circuit consists of an NMOS transistor and two DC supply voltages namely gate source voltage VGS and drain to source voltage VDS. To plot each curve, we set gate to source voltage to a desired constant value. Next, we vary drain to source voltage in steps and corresponding drain currents are measured. Two characteristics curves that are significant among the various curves are as follows. Number one, gate source voltage less than or equal to the threshold voltage. And number two, gate source voltage equals threshold voltage plus the word ray voltage. The word ray voltage selected to plot these curves are 0.5 volts, 1 volt, 1.5 volts and 2 volts respectively. From the characteristics, it may be observed that there are three distinct regions of operations, namely number one, the cutoff region, number two, the triode region and number three, the saturation region. The cutoff region and triode region of the characteristics are utilized to operate NMOS as a switch. That is, in the cutoff region, NMOS works like a half switch, whereas in the triode region, it behaves like a on switch. The saturation region of the characteristics is used to operate NMOS as an amplifier. To operate NMOS in the triode region, drain source voltage must be less than or equal to the word ray voltage. To operate transistor in the saturation region, drain source voltage must be greater than or equal to the uh, overdrive voltage. However, for both triode and saturation region, gate source voltage must be greater than the threshold voltage. The boundary between triode and saturation region is the locus of saturation points described by VDS equals overdrive voltage or drain source voltage equals gate source voltage minus the threshold voltage. Now let us analyze the regions of operation of NMOS transistor in more detail. Number one is the cutoff region. To operate NMOS transistor in the cutoff region, gate source voltage VGS must be less than the threshold voltage. In this region, there is no formation of the channel. The source and drain regions of the NMOS are isolated and hence the drain current is zero. Number two is the triode region or linear region. 
to operate NMOS in the triode region, first gate source voltage must be greater than or equal to threshold voltage. This induces the channel connecting the drain and source regions. Further, making gate to drain voltage greater than the threshold voltage ensures that there is a continuous channel. In addition, this condition also ensures that the MOSFET operates in the triode region. This condition may be explicitly stated in terms of drain source voltage by applying Kirchhoff voltage law for the circuit shown in this figure. Therefore, after applying the Kirchhoff voltage law and simplifying, we get gate source gate to drain voltage VGD equals gate source voltage plus the voltage across source and drain or gate to drain voltage equals gate to source voltage minus drain to source voltage. As we mentioned earlier that for the continuous channel VGD must be greater than VT that is VGD is greater than VT. So therefore the VGS minus VDS must be greater than VT on simplification. So this ensures that for the triode region of operation VDS must be less than VGS minus VT. This indicates a continuous channel. The current flowing in the triode region is given by the expression ID equals KN dash into W by L into VGS minus VT times VDS minus half of VDS square. As we know that in the triode region drain to source voltage is very small. So in the triode region we can neglect the second term. So once we neglect second term the simplified equation is as shown in this uh, in this slide which is ID equals KN dash into W by L into VGS minus VT times the VDS. So this equation is the approximate equation of the drain current. As we can see from this equation that the drain current is a function of gate source voltage and drain source voltage. Now we can obtain the expression for the resistance of the MOSFET device by taking the ratio of VDS and ID and also keeping the drain to source voltage very small and fixing the gate to source voltage a constant value. That is RDS equals VDS by ID or RDS equals 1 divided by KN dash into W by L into VGS minus VT. The VGS minus VT can also be shown as overdrive voltage. Therefore, the expression for RDS becomes 1 over KN dash into W by L into overdrive voltage. This equation relates drain resistance and overdrive voltage. The third region of uh, operation of the NMOS transistor is the saturation region. To operate the MOSFET in saturation region, a channel must be induced. That is, making gate to source voltage greater than or equal to threshold voltage induces a channel connecting the drain and source regions. Next, the pinched off channel is obtained by making the gate to drain voltage less than or equal to threshold voltage. This condition also ensures that the MOSFET operates in the saturation region. This condition can be explicitly, exp explicitly uh, obtained in terms of drain source voltage as follows. Earlier in the triode region, we obtained an equation VGD equals VGS minus VDS. Let us call this equation as 1. So by applying KVL, this, uh, this equation has been obtained from the conceptual circuit. Also we know that VGD is less than or equal to uh, threshold voltage ensures that the channel is pinched off. Let us call this condition as equation 2. From equations 1 and 2 we can replace left hand side of equation 1 by threshold voltage and equality condition becomes greater than or equal to. The resulting equation is shown in shown as equation 3. The boundary condition between the triode and saturation region is given by VDS equals VGS minus VT. Substituting this boundary condition in drain current equation of triode region, we obtain 
drain current equation in the saturation region. That is Id equals half of Kn dash into W by L into Vgs minus Vt the whole square. As is evident from this equation that the drain current in saturation region is a function of gate source voltage and is independent of the drain source voltage. This shows that the drain to source voltage VDS do not have a control on the drain current of the MOSFET operated in saturation region. Since the drain current is independent of the drain to source voltage, the saturated MOSFET behaves as an ideal current source whose value is controlled by VGS according to the nonlinear relationship given by the equation 4. The figure shows a circuit representation of the MOSFET operated in saturation region. This model is known as large signal equivalent circuit model and is valid for the MOSFET operated in saturation region. In this model, it may be noted that the gate and source are replaced by open circuit, which shows that the gate and channel are isolated by silicon dioxide. However, the voltage VGS exists between the gate and source. Since the MOSFET behaves as a constant current source in the saturation region whose magnitude is controlled by gate to source voltage, hence drain and source of the MOSFET is replaced by a dependent current source. The current flowing in this current source is given by the equation 4. The relative levels of the terminal voltages of the enhancement type NMOS transistor operated in both triode and saturation region is shown in this figure. Let us consider voltage at source terminal equals 0 volts and voltage at gate terminal equals 3 volts. Assume that the threshold voltage of the NMOS transistor equals 1 volt. It can be seen that the voltage between the gate and source now is 3 volt and it is greater than the threshold voltage. Therefore, the channel is induced in the NMOS connecting the drain and source regions. The wall drive voltage or excess voltage is given by VGS minus VT and, and hence it is equal to three, 2 volts. Now to decide the region of operation, the voltages VGD or VDS is essential. If we assume that the drain voltage starts increasing from 0 volts, then the range of drain voltage for which MOSFET remains in the triode region is 0 to 2 volts or alternatively it may be stated as 0 volts to O dry voltage or excess voltage. If the drain terminal voltage is made less than or equal to 2 volts then gate to drain voltage will be greater than the threshold voltage this ensures that MOSFET operates in the triode region. Further increasing drain voltage beyond 2 volts, say 3 volt, then VGD will be equal to 0 volts. This implies that VGD is less than threshold voltage. This indicates that the MOSFET operates in the saturation region. The summary of the drain current and drain to source voltage characteristics is as shown in the table presented in the next slide. In this table, the conceptual circuit IDVDS characteristics along with the analysis of various regions of operation of NMOS enhancement transistor is presented. With this, we end this lecture on IDVDS characteristics of NMOS enhancement transistor. In the next lecture, we shall discuss on the channel length modulation effects along with necessary derivations.